Hey guys, Matt here at the open house at the TRW headquarters, and this is vlog number 25. Yeah! Alright, so in today's vlog, we had a question at the open house, and the question was, I'm running into some issues when I'm pressing multiple colors of heat transfer vinyl, whether it's a multi-deck design with stones, or it's just two or three colors of heat transfer vinyl. And if I'm doing a knockout design or I'm doing a design, what's happening is when I line up my design, it's not lining up right. And that's an easy fix, an easy solution, and I demonstrated it in the open house today. And all you're gonna do is you just need to make sure to do a quick or just a tack press on your first couple colors. So I'm gonna give you an example. If we had a three color glitter heat transfer vinyl design, our first press is going to be two to three seconds max. I normally go two seconds. Second press is two seconds. Third press is the full required time and temperature of 10 to 12 seconds, okay? Because what you want to do is you just want to get that initial tack down on those first presses and then your final press, you're going to do it for the full recommended time and temperature, all right? Because what's happening is if you're doing, let's say, a two color design, and you press that full color for that full 10 to 12 seconds, not only is the shirt shrinking, but the material shrinking a little bit as well. And that's why you're having problems lining up that second color or third color. Now there is a little bit different, nice sunset, isn't it? A little bit difference when it comes to a multi-deck design where we have heat transfer vinyl and rhinestones. So where that comes into effect is a multi-deck design with heat transfer vinyl and rhinestones, here's what you're gonna do. So you're gonna do that first color of the heat transfer vinyl for two seconds. Let's say it's a two color glitter or two color easy weed and then rhinestones after. So you always press your heat transfer vinyl first. So first color for two seconds, second color for the full recommended 10 to 12 seconds and then you come back with the rhinestones for a full 10 to 12 seconds as well. So anytime you add rhinestones on it, you still have to do the full recommended time and temperature of your last heat transfer vinyl press and then the full recommended time and temp for the rhinestones. And the reason why, because I know it kind of, you would think, okay, why not just do two seconds for my first color HTV, two seconds for a second color, and then the full time for my rhinestones. Here's the reason why. When you're doing a knockout design, you're getting those stones in there, you're getting them really close to your heat transfer vinyl. The problem with that is your rhinestones are raised up. So you're not gonna get the full time and temperature that you need on that second press of the heat transfer vinyl. And the problem with that is when you just do it to the rhinestones, that press isn't gonna get all the way down to get the edges of that heat transfer vinyl where the stones are right next to it. And you're gonna run into issues down the road after washing of some of that vinyl probably peeling up because it didn't get that full pressure to it, okay? So hope that makes sense. If any of you are having any issues with lining up your designs with multiple colors of heat transfer vinyl, that is the reason why right there, okay? So just make sure that first one, that tack press, is going to be two seconds. If you have a three color design, I got two seconds, two seconds, then the full time. Three color design with rhinestones, two seconds, two seconds, full time HTV, full time rhinestones, okay? So, thanks a lot guys. Glad you guys are loving the vlogs. I'm loving doing the vlogs. I do them wherever we are. I just had an awesome open house today and now we came out to Longbow Key here. We're on the beach watching the sunset. Remember, the early bird special for the in-house training, August 30th, is almost over. So you need to make sure to sign up. You can do this at night, just like I am. Check it out, the sun is almost completely down right there. Amazing sky back here, Longboat Key, Florida. So, three-day in-house training. We have two more scheduled for this year, and then we'll schedule next year's coming up here in about a month as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Make sure to comment right there. Comment below, comment below. Let me know some questions that you guys have so I can answer them in the vlog and help your business out. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the awesome YouTube channel here. Make sure to view all of the vlogs right there. Check out our website right there and some other cool stuff right on over here. Thanks for watching guys. You guys are all amazing. I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. 
come out of here. See ya.